So I just watched the Alien Dark Descent of Fashion Pre-Order Trailer. As a big Alien fan, I found, I think, two big red flags in that thing. Let's take a look. We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. Those creatures aboard Pioneer. Someone was trying to smuggle them out. We have to warn Earth. We save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. Gather a security team and come with me. Quick Donald just linked in. Told us you'd be stirring up trouble again. That thing's still out there. Okay, here's the first red flag. Okay, we have this um, superhuman, uh, super mutant character. Which really looks a bit too freaky for the Alien franchise. And he has these tanks sticking out. And it looks like some of the cartoonish designs that you can find in the modern XCOM games. Not the one from the 90s, the original ones, but the new ones. The Doc Who and Cargo Ray 4 are dead. Dead? That's not funny. How many of those things are there? Deploying sentry gun! Fire! Bring it down! Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminated vectors. But we can't stay. It's not safe. Here's the second red flag. The super mutant character, which already looks too unrealistic for, for the alien franchise. And notice the alien next to him doesn't seem to care about his presence, which means either that alien is his pet, or he has some type of connection to those aliens, perhaps some telepathic thing, or the aliens see them as one of him because he got genetically fused with alien DNA or some... Like, it looks like the same type of bad idea that they introduced into, I think, the fourth alien movie. And here's what I don't understand. They could make a great alien game just by sticking to the source material, which means realistic space marines with their gear and equipment and the tactics reacting to the aliens. It doesn't require some Fortnite character like this that is able to use aliens as his pet aliens. 